Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimmingbird, and today we're going to do a little mod spotlight on a mod that is very near and dear to my heart. It is called Pixelmon. It is very similar to Pokemobs in that it adds Pokemon to the Minecraft world, but this one actually does a much better job and it's very active. It's still being updated. It was actually just updated on the 1st, and this is version 175. I'm going to start a new world just to show you what it looks like when you jump in here, but then I will go to another world that I have a lot more stuff set up in. So here we go. Creating a new world, and it's converting, building, I don't know why it's converting, this is a new world. Here we go. So the first thing you see when you have this installed is you get to choose which starter Pokemon you want. And hopefully I don't, I'm in creative, otherwise I would drown here. So which starter are we going to do? I'm just going to pick uh, Charmander, seems like a good one to show off. So there we go, we've got Charmander. And in the distance you can already see some Staryu swimming around. There's some Magikarp down here. If I go underwater you can see them. I've got clear water on so you can see very well and there's also some water stones down in the ground now not only does this does this add Pokemon to the game it also adds uh, a bunch of new items so Charmander let's send him out I have to actually go in and change the controls for some reason it makes me do this every time but I have the send receive Pokemon uh, thing set to my button my button for my mouse so let's do that. Now Charmander, I choose you. <laughs> there he goes. Your starter is always in a Master Ball. Charmander, he doesn't really have a flame, but he is super cute. And he can go in water. I can just push him in and he's fine. But yeah, you get to choose one of the starters. And right now there are 90 Pokemon in this mod, including a ton of items. Now if you don't like this overlay, you can make it smaller with the O button. This is all customizable. And you can basically take and send out your Pokemon and recall them anytime you want. And I can fly over here and check out the level of this star you. It's way too high. Let's fight a Magikarp. I'm going to throw my Charmander out, and this will initiate a battle. Now there's an overlay here, and you actually get to do your stuff with your bag and your attacks and everything. So this is different from pick, uh, Pokemobs in that there's actually uh, turns, and you'll see in the chat down there. There we go. Charmander just scratched the shit out of Magikarp and knocked him. Now Charmander's drowning here. So if he doesn't get up here, he's going to drown, because this underwater battle is not... Yep, see, he, he uh, died underwater. Sometimes stuff like that happens, like the Minecraft rules will sometimes interfere with the Pokemon rules. But anyways, that's the gist of how it works, but there's a lot more to it. So I'm going to hop over here to my other world here, and that seed, if you liked that weird island seed, that was called... Pixelmon, the seed, and this is the Pokemon seed. So over here, there's this nice drowsy. Some of these guys have really cool animations. He really likes my apricorn trees. <laughs> I'll go into those in a sec. But a lot of the basics here is that you have a healing machine that you can heal all your Pokemon up. Uh, there's a PC to check out all the ones you've caught and switch them out and put new ones on your team. Uh, this anvil here is used in the pretty extensive Pokeball crafting system that was recently added. You can see you get the apricorns, you cook them, and you can use them to make discs of Pokeballs. And I can actually show you this real quick. So we're going to take some of these pink apricorns here from this tree. You just right click the apricorn tree, and there you go. Uh, and you grab a couple of these, and you would normally cook them in a furnace. I'm just going to grab three here. This is very quick. I'm just going to give you a glimpse at this. You get the discs. And you throw them, and this you put them on the anvil, and there's a new item in the game, which is in the tools. It's a hammer. You can make it just like the other. It's basically built like a double axe, like on two sides. And you just hammer the Pokeball here until it takes its shape, and you can actually see the model changing. And then right-click, and you, there you go, you get the lid. And basically how you craft Pokeballs is you use iron to get the bottom, whatever apricorn to get the top, and use a button, and you can make these. You can also craft them with some materials like redstone and stuff, but this is the new crafting system just added with the hammer. So let's just go back, uh, before I get too much into the apricorns, I know you guys probably want to see the Pokemon, let's send out some of the more impressive ones. Now, I've got a few here, and I'm going to cycle through. You can choose with the bracket buttons, or whatever you key you want to see what you want to send out. And there's my Haunter. I actually caught him with a Great Ball, and you can see when I threw him out there, there was a Great Ball, which is pretty awesome. Uh, he's got some cool attacks. You can nickname them. Over here on the 8 slot is the Poke Checker. This allows you to see all their moves, which are color-coded by type. You can give them a nickname, like this is Boo. <laughs> it's not a very original nickname, but yeah, you can see now he's called that. You can also stop them from leveling if you don't want them to evolve, because they will automatically evolve. But 
you can send out multiple Pokemon. Like, I can throw my Snorlax out here with my Haunter, and this Snorlax is huge. These guys are pretty rare, but I managed to find two so far, which is crazy. Uh, what's more rare that I was, wasn't was expecting to find, I thought I would have to train my Magikarp, is this guy, Gyarados, over here. He is huge. <laughs> and one of the cool features that they just added in one... 7-5 is that you can ride on Pokemon. Now, if I can click him. There we go. I clicked him in the right spot, but I accidentally got off. Come here, buddy. I'm trying to click. There we go. Now, right now, riding only allows you to move horizontally. So if you're playing in survival, you're going to drown doing this. You want to make sure you're on the surface. But in the future, they're going to add the ability to jump over blocks and do stuff like that. And also to fly eventually with Pokemon, so you could be flying on your Charizard and stuff. Uh, that's a good reason to choose Charmander as a starter, although Bulbasaur was my first one. Anyways, uh, I surfed on a Lapras before, and this Gyarados, I really love, look at the scale of this guy compared to me. It's insane how big he is. But anyways, the Pokemon are all built to scale from how the games work, but they might change that uh, pretty soon here. Oops, I accidentally threw Snorlax into the bottom. He's so happy anyways, he doesn't care. I'm going to return these guys. But uh, in the future, they're actually going to use the anime scale for the Pokemon, so they'll be a bit bigger, actually, I think, which is pretty cool. Some of them I've noticed, like Miltank, is really small for some reason, but they're using the game size, like what the, what the Pokedex tells you. And speaking of Pokedex, I can actually right-click, and you can go through and see all of these Pokemon. And like I said, there's 90 in the game. Some of these models are really cool, like look at Blastoise and Charizard. Caterpie's got cute little feet. But yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon, including a few from later gens. Like, they even have Sandile, which is 5th gen, and stuff like that. It's a little scattered. Like, you got Lunatone and, like, Trapinch and Numbel and stuff like that. But another feature that's right over here... So, the Apricorn trees I mentioned before, that's how you craft some of the special balls. Like, there's a bunch of them. Love Ball, Friend Ball, all these, including the normal ones. Uh... But the apricorn trees like this, will that's a natural one. It'll just spread there. Look how Electrode rolls. That's really cool. Um, but this, these guys over here, I need to mention, there's a Raichu. That's pretty lucky. They're supposed to be kind of rare. I'm actually going to fight one of these trainers. So if you want to initiate a battle with a Pokemon or a trainer, there's a couple youngsters here, it looks like. You just throw your Pokemon right at him, and here we go. So he even, he sent out his Butterfree. I'm going to try to put it to sleep with my Ivysaur, whose texture is a little weird right now. But if you look in the text there, he actually said, I'm so lost. Like, they have little text that they talk about. I'm going to throw a leech seed on it. Unlike Pokemobs, where the Pokemon would just ram into each other, this is actually somewhat turn-based. Although, when you have the the turn, like, enacted, you will see them hit each other. Like, there we go, you just did Vine Whip. And at this point, the Pokemon have all the normal moves they would learn, and they all pretty much work. But as of now, the animation is just kind of hitting each other. So I'm pretty confident I can beat him with my Ivysaur here. I uh, just gotta smack him a couple more times. But yeah, this is kind of how trainer battles work. Like I said, Minecraft stuff can get in the way, like your Pokemon. Oh man, he knocked down my Ivysaur. Let's just destroy him with Gyarados. <laughs> so let's do a Hyper Beam. <laughs> this is really cheap because this Gyarados is level 63. And there he goes. Now we beat him. I'm surprised he only had one Pokemon. Usually they have several. But um, let's, send, let's take Gyarados back here. Uh, as I was saying, though, the, the trainers, you'll you'll find them randomly, and uh, you can battle them for experience and stuff, and, and knock down Pokemon. I actually forgot what I was talking about before this. But yeah, <laughs> that's just kind of how it works. You initiate it, and oh, that was what I was saying. The, uh, the Minecraft stuff can get in the way, like your Pokemon could fall down a ditch if it gets hit the wrong way. You gotta watch out for stuff like that. And one feature that I'm not exactly sold on is that... Uh, the, this game, or the way that it works is that there's no animals or monsters in the game, so you lose a lot of the items you would normally get. I'm going to just capture this Ponyta so I can try to ride it, because I haven't t tried that yet. you got to hit him directly. Look at that cool animation. It actually wiggles. Master Ball is going to catch it, so we don't have to worry about that. And he will be sent to my PC here. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of how you don't get to fight normal monsters or get animals. Uh, in the, the way the game works right now because uh, that means like stuff like uh, gunpowder and bones for bone meal especially if you're going to build or you're going to grow apricorns you're going to need bone meal uh, if you want to grow them a little quicker but now that stuff's going to be really hard to come by in the game which is a little sad I hope they add an option to be able to use one so there's our pony talk can we ride it yep Ooh, the meters are getting in the way a little bit 
and as I said you can't really like jump to get up blocks it's kind of the issue the pig had originally but I'm guessing once 1.4 comes out and there's a whole framework of how to ride pigs they're gonna have an easier time with this but anyways this this is just something they added in the, the most recent update there's so many cool things I, I can't even cover all of them there's thunderstone, leafstone, firestone, and waterstone ore that you can find. As you saw, waterstone ore is pretty common in the water area, but you can mine for the others. And uh, you can get shards in here, like if you take these uh, shards from the thunderstone and craft them together, I'm not going to do it, but you do like how you would do in a block, you put nine of them and you get the actual stone. And these are used for evolution, just like in the game. There's a lot of stuff that's very close to the game. You can use potions to cure in battle. You need ethers and stuff to uh, restore their PP. There's experience share, all these cool little items, berries. It's very close to how the game works. There's even rare candy if you want to level up stuff quickly. I can show you something evolving. So what Pokemon do I have that will evolve? How about we just evolve my Ivysaur real quick? I've been leveling him uh, fairly legitimately so far, but let's just go in. I gotta heal him. I'll show you that little process. You just click heal, and depending on how knocked out they are, you know, or how much damage they've taken, it takes a little bit. So Ivysaur is all healed. We'll send him out, and then I'm going to use some rare candy to uh, level him up. He's really interested in that Ekans. Let's just keep leveling him till he gets to 36. He wants to eat, learn Razor Leaf. I need to put him up here. There we go. Come here, buddy. He wants to learn Sweet Scent. Let's not do that. He's going to keep trying to learn moves. And you see he actually like grows a little bit every time he levels, which is cool. He gets more and more giant. And there he goes. He hit 36, and he jumped into this giant Venusaur. I can't actually ride Venusaur right now, it looks like. Unless, oh, maybe I just need a... There we go. I can ride Venusaur. Sweet. Okay, so I'm guessing all the starters you can ride. This is pretty cool. Look at me. I'm sitting in a plant on a giant dinosaur Pokemon. Those teeth are gnarly. He needs some braces. Um, but I think that is most of the features. There's a ton of stuff in here. They even just added uh, evolution by happiness. So if you have your Eevee and you want him to be an Umbreon, just level him at night and he'll become an Umbreon. Espeon's not in the game yet. But yeah, just there's lots of stuff. It's very cool. One of the coolest parts, I think, though, is the fact that uh, you can add this to a server pretty easily. You just need to end to your game. You just need to have Forge on there and then drop the Poke uh, Pixelmon files into your mod folder or in your .minecraft folder. It's pretty simple. And I'm thinking about maybe trying to put this on a server. I think it would be kind of cool to play with other people. Uh, it's supposed to be very easy. There's a couple other guys over here. We got Arbok, we got Rattata. Doduo was just added. This is a Snorlax that's wild and just happened to fall into this pit. I feel bad for him. Oh, get out of here, Venusaur. <laughs> He's like, pay attention to me. I'm your giant dinosaur thing. Anyways, uh, that's a lot of what Pixelmon's about. There's a, there's a ton more to it. You'll find bug catchers, all this stuff. More trainers, more battles. They're going to add randomly generated towns with maybe gyms in the future. A ton of new stuff. So this mod is being worked on extensively, like I said. I'm, I'm very happy with it. It's way better than Pokemobs has been so far. So I'm very happy. You guys should try it out. I've been having a lot of fun with it. But anyways, thank you for watching. I might do more videos on this if you guys, some people have really enjoyed my Pokemon series in the past. If you want to see me go on like an, a legitimate Pokemon adventure with this, let me know. If you want to see, like I'm st like I said, I'm thinking about making a server. If you want to see that, uh, I might set that up and have people from Scotland and possibly new people to get whitelisted to play on that. I'm thinking a cool idea would be to set up towns with gyms and then the v like the viewer, like you guys can come on and start your Pokemon journey fresh and actually go and fight like Scotland people that are gym leaders and stuff. We would have teams set for that. That would be really cool, I think. Anyways, this is all just <laughs> hypothetical stuff. Leave a comment and let me know what you think I should do because I really like this mod and I think it would be fun in multiplayer. So uh, I'm mostly happy because Danielle loves Pokemon and this will get her to play Minecraft more. Anyways, <laughs> leave a like if you enjoyed this and uh, if you have any questions about the mod, let me know. There's a lot more to it and I will try to answer them. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Goodbye.